This is the Imperial Japanese battleship Yamato, the largest warship ever built. Conceived in secrecy and forged in steel, she embodied Japan's ultimate vision of naval supremacy. Commissioned in 1941, Yamato was built at the Kure Naval Arsenal under the highest levels of secrecy. Her massive dry dock had to be expanded beyond any existing standard. The Yamato's hull was a masterpiece of naval engineering, built with over a thousand watertight compartments and armor thicker than any ship before her. Her proportions dwarfed every contemporary vessel. 263 meters long, 38.9 meters wide, displacing over 72,000 tons when fully loaded. The curvature of her hull was carefully designed to deflect torpedo blasts and reduce drag through the water, a combination of strength and efficiency unseen at the time. Inside, over 2,700 crew members lived and worked. Engineers, gunners, mechanics, and officers, each with precise roles in the ship's operation. At the heart of Yamato's power were 12 Compan boilers and four steam turbines producing 150,000 horsepower. With her fuel capacity, Yamato could travel 7,000 nautical miles without resupply, an oceanic fortress capable of crossing entire oceans. The ship's main turrets carried the largest naval guns ever built, nine 460mm Type 94 cannons capable of firing a shell over 40 kilometers. Each armor-piercing shell weighed 1,460 kilograms, the size of a small car, fired through a 21-meter barrel with devastating force. The Type 94 main battery relied on enormous breech mechanisms and loading trays. Every movement was precise heavy and timed to the second. Beneath each turret sat a deep barbette with lifts for shells and charges, guarded by strict safety interlocks to prevent accidents. Secondary guns formed a layered defense, triple 155mm turrets and dual-purpose 127mm mounts covering surface and air threats. Anti-aircraft protection relied on numerous 25mm Type 96 mounts, grouped in clusters across the decks with manual directors. Four shafts drove four propellers through reduction gears, pushing the ship at high speed despite her enormous mass. Electrical power came from generators feeding switchboards that distributed energy to pumps, weapons, and sensors throughout the ship. Command and control centered on the bridge, helm, engine order telegraphs, voice pipes, and plotting instruments. To get underway, boilers were lit off, steam pressure was raised, turbines were synchronized, and orders were passed to the shafts. Aircraft handling added scouting capability, catapults, a turntable, and a stern crane for recovery. Armor protection was designed to resist the heaviest naval shells of its time, a layered defense combining thickness and angling. The forward bridge housed command, navigation, and gunnery control, towering high above the deck to oversee battle. The ship's radar arrays were added during wartime upgrades, bringing electronic eyes to a vessel built for optical warfare. Crew life on board was confined but organized. Mess halls, sleeping quarters, and workshops distributed along lower decks. The rudder assembly provided steering control through hydraulic rams connected to the helm far above. The funnel carried exhaust from 12 boilers, venting gases while maintaining minimal back pressure on the engines. Ventilation and piping systems ran through the hull feeding air and liquids to every compartment of the massive vessel. Communications linked every deck, phones, voice pipes, and sound-powered circuits ensured commands moved instantly. When battle stations were called, every compartment came alive, 
engines, guns, and sensors operating as one cohesive machine. At the bow of Yamato lay her massive anchor system, twin forged steel anchors, each weighing several tons, designed to hold the world's heaviest battleship fast, even in violent seas. Within the navigation deck, officers steered this giant through confined waters using precise mechanical instruments, not electronics. The two aft main turrets mirrored the forward guns, immense triple 460 millimeter weapons guarding Yamato's stern arcs. Yamato's triple 155 millimeter turrets provided rapid surface fire against lighter ships a deadly mid-range weapon. Clusters of 25 mm guns lined the decks, defending the battleship from waves of attacking aircraft. Four bronze propellers drove Yamato through the sea, each almost six meters across, powered by massive shafts and reduction gears deep inside. At her stern, Yamato launched float planes for scouting missions using twin catapults and a recovery crane. The single, massive funnel vented gases from 12 boilers through layered exhaust trunks hidden within its armored shell. When fully manned and powered, every system within Yamato connected. Engines, guns, sensors, and crew. A mechanical symphony of steel. Deep below the stern, Yamato's steering gears moved giant rudders with quiet mechanical authority. Rows of meters and switches fed power through every deck, the nervous system of Yamato's machinery. Beneath armored decks, turbines spun steam into motion, driving 70,000 tons of steel forward. Hammocks, lockers, and metal walls formed home for sailors living months inside this floating fortress. Beneath armored decks, a small medical bay treated wounds from fire, steel, and sea. Messages crossed oceans through radio waves pulsing from Yamato's concealed transmitters. On her tower, radar arrays scanned horizons, Yamato's eyes beyond human sight. Deep in the hull, armored magazines guarded explosives that fed Yamato's vast guns. Every deck, beam, and frame together formed the strongest warship ever built by human hands. Beneath the forecastle, massive anchor chains coiled deep within Yamato's armored lockers. Deep in her hull, Yamato's vast fuel bunkers fed boilers through armored pipelines. At Yamato's stern, an aft director guided secondary batteries with precise optical range data. Along her flanks, Yamato's torpedo defense layers absorbed underwater shock and flooding. Yamato's 460 mm guns sat in armored turrets taller than a two-story house. Engineers here managed Yamato's propulsion through dials, levers, and glowing gauges. Twin rudders guided Yamato's immense stern through the Pacific with surprising grace. Within her armored hull, Yamato's elevators carried ton-heavy shells to feed the giant guns above. Every mechanism aboard Yamato worked together, forming one living machine of war. From the flag bridge, officers watched seas ahead through armored glass and wind. Steam rose from 12 Kampon boilers, the powerhouse that pushed Yamato across the Pacific. Below each turret, Yamato's loading system rammed shells and charges with perfect timing. Massive steel plates shielded Yamato's forward bulkhead, forging a barrier against enemy shells. Directors synchronized Yamato's AA guns, turning human observation into precise defensive fire. Tight corridors and hatches linked hundreds of compartments inside Yamato's steel maze. Miles of cable carried signals through Yamato's decks, linking every system to command. Air pumped through Yamato's ventilation system kept men and machines breathing under armor. Yamato's main deck combined thick armor and teak planking for strength and endurance. 
This is Yamato Revealed. Every deck, beam, and engine forged into a monument of steel.